Greetings YouTube, Aaron here and I'm back for more Skyrim and today we're going to be carrying on with the Dawnguard DLC as was promised in the previous episode and I've already fast travelled back to the Dawnguard uh, Fortress to save us a bit of time since I still cannot edit at the moment and it's probably going to be quite a while before I can edit so I've got to be very strategic with how I record these videos at present uh, so and I'm going to be I'm going to start recording these in bulk quite a bit as well um, just purely because I want to get through this relatively quick and get it over and done with because I've got a couple of other projects that I would like to get started on but I don't want to start them until I pay up we're under attack Uh, yeah, I don't want to start those projects until I finish this one. I don't want to take on too much at once. Look at this. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The woman trapped in there. That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? One hardly. Where is she? And so you deliver her to them. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? Right. So they have this woman and an Elder Scroll. So you could go with any of those options if I'm honest. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out of her reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest war in ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was at Skyrim, Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Okay, so we've now got to go and find these two open. people, so that we can start building a army up to take down the fortress but that's going to be a while off yet we won't be taking the fortress just yet because um, obviously we need more people resources all that kind of stuff okay so our first target is just over here now i'll also point out that it will not be in the same place every time it will move where they are so in this case we're going to go to dark light tower first and go and get this one because it's right next door to them. But every new game you start though, when you do the Dawnguard DLC and you get to this point, the two people that you have to recruit, it will be the same two people, but their location will have changed. It's like the last time, the guy that we're going after now, the last time I recruited him on my other playthrough, he was over near Iverstead, not near South Riften. Um, <clears throat> and the other one was up near... Uh, 
up near Dragon Bridge, I think it's called. It, it's up in the direction of Solitude. Um, but again, that looks like it's changed as well. I'm not sure whereabouts she is. I need to have a look in a minute once we've recruited this guy. You there, hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. What a thought of a threat. I'm afraid he's a few years to wait. I've moved. I've moved. One less monster. Right, where were we? Mind yourself. Ethron, I'm afraid there's a few. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. That. Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Well, in that case, I'll give you a hand. So usually the cave that the bear is hidden in is actually a, usually a, quite a small cave. You don't really have to go too far in. So we do have a few other things in here though to contend with. by myself you have my thanks you've helped me so i suppose the least i can do is find out what isran wants he's still at that fort full of stendhal's beacon i assume of course he did he's been working on that place for years now never lets anyone in his own little fortress well i guess i'll get to see what he's been up to all this time i'll meet you there See you right, that's one recruited. Now I'm going to go recruit the other one if I can work out where the exit is. There it is. And like the guy that we have just recruited, the other one will also require our help in order for us to gain her help. And she can be found. Oh, where is she? Okay, Doku, she is. Actually, she's roughly in the same place as last time. I'll be damned. No, they're both on the same flipping side. This is not fair. I've never had two dragons attack me at once before. Except later on in this DLC that we are currently doing. This is unusual. Very unusual. I'm thinking we should probably try and bend well on one of these dragons and then we can use one dragon against the other. 
Attacking the other dragon for me. Helpful. Very helpful. Ah, oh, well, in that case, we'll leave them to fight. <laughs> Very handy. I'll have to remember that little trick if that happens again. Turn one dragon against the other. Why not? What okay, so here's our other. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me. Just look around, will you? Okay. He's wrong. Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Really? Oh, I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that with at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. In that case, right, we then. need to find these gyros. Here we go. It will be just down here in the satchel. I'm just going to take the one because the last thing we want is to weigh ourselves down. I understand. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Ah, oh, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. my dragon go? I know it landed behind me at one point. Has the spell broken? Has he disappeared? Ah. Okay, back to Fort Dawnguard. Mm. I have to turn the camera to get to it. There we go.
press the wrong damn buttons. Alright, so this time we're going to need to make our way all the way up through and into the fortress this time. Israel has gone back inside now, so there's no luxury of catching him out on the stairwell. Got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat, shall we? I've got to say, it's an awesome contraption that he's built here. I think you might be sick. Unfortunately, I have no cure disease potions right now. I will have to get my hands on one, then I will cure myself. I'm just hoping it's not vampirous that we've got. Have I gone the wrong way? I have, haven't I? Whoops. Now, I particularly like these kind of fortresses because they're always designed to slow an opponent's progress through the fortress. Meanwhile, it will also have points built into it where you can attack them from, but they can't get to you. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Serene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. So Stay that's alert. So that's optional stuff. But we're not going to worry too much about that at the moment. We can. I've picked up the quest so that we can do it later on if needs be. This vampire. Probably it's not part of the main quest. I'm guessing it's the one you found in the Mamo Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen. Before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me. And the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll, it all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you've figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. Well, 
Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Okay, that's a little shot. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I should kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Set my hatred aside. Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. If it lays a finger on anyone here, we'll take personal responsibility and we will be the ones to take her head off. How about that, Isran? In the meantime, can't get any fairer than that. Me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity, because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your Moth Priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. <clears throat> Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know... The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Okay, so we have three options here on how we can proceed. We're going to go with the easiest of the three options, which is just to find one of the uh, horse carriages that you can use to fast travel, sort of. Um, to, to each of the different cities. It's usually the quickest way to sort of unlock all the different bits of the map for fast travelling when you're first starting out. Uh, and the closest one that we have got to here would actually be Riften. So let's head to Riften Stable. To talk to this nice gentleman. Here. Right. I can take you to another. It's one of them imperial scholars, right? Old man with a grey robe. Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Who's there? Oh yeah, I remember your mom, please. Now he wanted me to take him out to Dragonbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. Never should have come here. Here? Care of all of that. 
so we can fast travel. Uh, so from here then we want to fast travel to Dragon's Bridge. Talk to the guards, actually. Have you heard? Ah, so that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop, just headed south, across the Dragon Bridge. Okay. I'll take my leave then. So. So we search along the road, so let's head out this way. And we're looking for a carriage that will be overturned on the side of the road. It should be just a little bit further up. Yeah, here it is. See what we've got here. Oh, okay. So next up then we need to head for the cave that's just up here. And this bit of the quest is absolute. Uh, locations don't change on this bit. Um, finding a way up to the cave is a little bit of a nuisance at points. Um, here there's a way up because I used it last time. Where is it? There it is. That's what I was looking for. Ah. Leads up. Uh, here we go. Right. Now, I suggest we go in in stealth mode because these vampires can hit hard, and ideally, we want to take them out without contracting vampires as well. It doesn't matter what Serrano does, her movements shouldn't affect our own.
includes that. Now, once we release the force field, I believe we're going to have to fight the moth priest a little bit to snap him out of it. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Okay. So we're pretty much done here now. Uh, I'm just going to loop this. No, oh, that's a nice piece of armor. I think I'll hang on to that. We've got our Moth Priest. And our next thing we need to do is make our way back to Dawn Guard uh, Fortress. Um, but I think I'm going to end things here. And I will meet you at the Dawn Guard Outpost at the beginning of my next episode. Which obviously for me will be in just a moment. For you guys it will be whenever it pops up on YouTube for you I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. If you've liked what you've seen, then let me know in the comments section. Hit that like button. Be subscribed to the Dark Swordsman Gaming Guys channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye for now.